We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Cleveland Browns and the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Now that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson on the move to his left. And his first look is incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. First carry for Nick Chubb. And nowhere for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Officially nothing on that one. No gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So now an early third and 10 here on their opening drive. To throw is Watson. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. Courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. Now to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Watson rolling to his left. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Dancing to his left. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Here's Corey Bohorquez now. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Hurts. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Throwing his Hurts. And one more time, that's Watkins. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he's blocked down just outside of the 10 at the 11. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I 
really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Here's Hurts to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the left hash, and he'll try and throw here on the fake. Pass is caught for a first, but he's looking for more. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. They'll run with Sanders. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Miles Sanders, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. So that a great sequence for these guys to begin the ball game. They force the punt on one end and come right down the field and score on the other. And that's a great example of leaning on each other and building a little momentum that way. And this is going to be intercepted. John Johnson with the INT. And now look at him go. The 40, 20, 10, 5, and he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as head play backfires in a big way. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. The Browns drive about to get started. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Love the play call that time, love the design. You put three tight ends on the field, that screams jumbo set, running formation to a defense, right? No, they go play action and defense gets confused for just a split second. The next thing you know, completion for good yardage. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it will bring up a second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive end, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Throwing on third down, Watson. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. And this is a great play right here by a very versatile linebacker. It's a zone defense, so he's responsible for one area of the field. And Brandon, I don't think the quarterback ever saw it. Or if he did, he saw him too late because he snuck into a great position there to pick that one off. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Throw left side complete. That's Sanders. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A good pick up there, 22. And that's not a play that you see all that often at the start of a drive, but some teams, they don't mind doing it. And that one, well sold by the offensive lineman. They showed the pass, and then they got out into space, able to get some good blocks downfield and allow the play to be successful. But first down, Hurts. And once again, this is Sanders. And they're going to move it down the inside the 25. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Hey. 
Now it's second and nine. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts, 24 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And he'll be out of bounds well short of the goal line, so the attempt at the fake extra point unsuccessful. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. And solid field position here to start as they get this out to the 40-yard line. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. The Browns drive about to get started. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know, they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control of that. Others, they're going to look at a couple shorter passes and get a little more momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Nick Chubb, 57 yards. And the Browns have cut it back within a score. Extra point by York he is up and good. And the lead is down to a field goal. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end gunner. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. He delivers another to gunner, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. It's caught by Sanders. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. To throw again on second down. Hurts. Out route pass complete to Goddard. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Timeout. 
as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. And they're going to fake it. He wants to throw it here. Now a throw caught by one of their linemen. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 21 yards there. A big play on fourth down. You know I always talk about when teams line up for long field goals that you should be in a safe defense. Right. But you're also in a position here where this is a makeable kick. So rushing it is also part of this strategy. Maybe they use their aggressiveness against them on that fake. Yeah, with a low trajectory, they're coming in hot, trying to block it. You're right, and obviously it worked out. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. The partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. And that is no good. And that will keep this a three-point game. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line can play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Hurt sets up to throw it. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. Hurts fighting Goddard there. First down, Philadelphia. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. From the 44, Hurts. Sanders has it over the middle. Room here to run. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Steps away to his left. And out of bounds, all the way down at the 3. Turns out to be a great idea to tough that one. Good for 24 yards. Obviously, a big play was needed, and you can see his eyes light up as he realized there's absolutely no one in front of him. And he takes off and goes, and goes a long way. Not only does he pick up a first, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Grant Calcaterra, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. It. to the goal line but it's incomplete uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit i liked it when they would fake it from the three yard line right when they'd line up go ahead and oh there's a fake and oh, he's gonna get two that's great but from the 15 the risk reward is just not there it's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but still back to reliable. Kick the ball through the post. Get off my lawn. That's darn right. This one fielded at the five. All praises for a tremendous return, but how about the guys that never gave up on the play, refused to let him get into the end zone, and tracked him down before he got there and made the tackle? A lot of pride exhibited by guys on special teams. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. 
And in the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And he'll take it in the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Grant Calcaterra. Beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And he will get into the end zone to put the lead up to three scores. Now when a quarterback draw option works to perfection for him. Yeah, it's hard to account for the quarterback in most situations on defense, and that's why the quarterback draw is so successful. Everyone else covered, makes a little fake, runs into the end zone. A short kick taken at the 18. And takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Browns drive about to get started. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand... They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Faking the give, now Watson. This is the tight end to Joku. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Watson to Njoku there for the Cleveland first. Now it's Watson, a bootleg, out to his left. That is caught left side by Bryant. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 11 more on that one and another first down. Now a play fake and it's Watson. Steps away. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Off of play action, it's Watson on the move to his left. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down, and don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. They run again on first down, Chubb. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. The defensive line made pretty easy work of the offensive line that time. And people get tired of the cliche that the battle is won in the trenches, but it's a cliche because it's true. And how about the battle right there? One on the edge, and the ball carrier did not benefit. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, They've got to pay it off with some points. The Browns on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and nine. Watson off play action. Rolling to his left. Out left side here to Bryant. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. They'll run for it. Chubb. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. But no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. Chubb is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. So stuff from the two. Now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? 
play action. Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folding like a lawn chair. He lost four there, and it's third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Out to his left. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. It's a foot race, and the Eagles are going to get it back here just past the 35. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off, depending on whether or not we see any defensive timeouts. They still have two, but using them would just be prolonging what's really already been decided. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Steps away. He's going deep for Brown. And now Watson throws another interception. Picked off by Greg Newsom. that penalty wipe out the INT. You'd hate to be the teammate that caused that penalty and wiped out the interception. You gotta face that guy in the locker room. Not a lot of fun for you, and you hurt your squad. They'll fake the give to Sanders, who now hurts. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Jeremiah owusu koromoa picks up his second sack of the afternoon. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen. But somehow, they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead. And thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. On first down, he'll drop to throw. This will be caught once again by Brown. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They'll set up a throw. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Grant Delpit. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop it. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was. It all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.